Weather and climate. Scientists describe the condition of the atmosphere as weather. Sunny, rainy and cloudy are all examples of terms used to describe this condition. Weather is primarily measured in terms of temperature, atmospheric pressure or the pressure of the air resting on the earth, precipitation and humidity. Patterns of weather in specific areas are known as climates. They're used to describe what we predict the weather conditions to be, not what they actually are. As changes occur in the atmosphere constantly, the weather around us is also changing constantly. Those tasked with anticipating the weather and studying the patterns which make that possible are known as meteorologists. These weathermen monitor the changes in the temperature and humidity of the atmosphere and attempt to forecast what those changes mean for us down on Earth's surface. For example, the further we are from the Earth's equator, the colder our climate's temperature will be. This is because the equator is the closest point on Earth to the sun. Also, at the poles, the snow and ice causes most of the sunlight to reflect, which is known as having a higher albedo. This makes it more difficult for the sun's warmth and light to reach the surface. Sometimes it's possible to divide the climate up per year into seasons. In the UK, we recognise summer, autumn, winter and spring as seasons of approximately equal length. These are brought about by various air masses that meet over Great Britain. Winds from the Arctic, continent, Atlantic and Mediterranean all have vastly different characteristics and as such cause different weather patterns to form. These patterns are often plotted onto a climate graph which measures annual temperatures and rainfalls. These are important for meteorologists because they allow patterns to be readily seen. If the rainiest month in the UK was November for three years in a row, it's reasonable to predict rain in November. Likewise, if the highest average daily temperature is constantly in July, we can expect similar temperatures in July. Patterns in the weather are not foolproof, as climate can be altered by landscape, pollution and construction. Often these patterns have helped to shape the whole landscape of a region. Climates can be grouped into classes called biomes, which have similar vegetation and animal life. There are nine major biomes in the world, and all of these are formed as a direct result of the region's weather and climate.